Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive and also looking like I'm going to work. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. It's amazing, you should try it sometime. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Oh, my little chipmunks. I am so excited for today's video. Finally, I get to talk about one of my favorite brands, Shinsukai. By the way, um, <laughs> I don't know if you could actually see this, but my hands are two different shades. And uh, what happened was, <laughs> during one of my subscription boxes, I used, um, I guess like a tanning spray. Anyway, I didn't realize I used a lot of it. I, it burned my skin, I took it off, and then I woke up and it looks like I have a liver spot on my hand. So, I mention this now <laughs> because I'm gonna be doing close up of the product shots and I didn't do my nails. I know, I'm a mess, okay? I came back from vacation, I'm a hot mess. But I didn't do my nails and half my hand is orange, okay? I feel like I'm turning into Snooki. I don't like it, but whatever. We're just gonna push through it because I'm so excited for today's video. I love Chantikai, there's no surprise there. Long story short, if you are new here, I got drunk <laughs> and decided to throw caution to the wind and purchase the most amazing product I have ever tried in my life, the Perfect Blurring Powder. From that day, I fell in love with this brand, hardcore. And I have to say, majority of the products, there have been a couple that I'm like, hmm, not my favorite, but majority of their products I have been incredibly obsessed with and they're going into the casket with me. What I love about Chantikai is that it makes me feel like I own 51% of the company and I will take you for all you're worth. Trust me. You best believe that. That said, each year Chantikai hosts a sale where you can get 30% off to celebrate Sylvie Chantikai, which is the lovely CEO and founder. And this sale is pretty much to celebrate her birthday. And the sale usually goes on from about July 28th to July 31st. However, Chantikai loves me so much. <laughs> I am like their weird stepchild, okay? They leave me in the attic, they feed me a bucket of fish heads a week. We have a great relationship. There's no VC Andrews stuff going on. I can tell you that much. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> They asked me if I wanted to participate in the sale and they gave me a code. You can get 30% off before the actual sale starts from July 24th to July 27th. And you can actually kind of just feel better than everybody else. So if you use my code <laughs> Teresa30, you can get 30% off your purchase. Full disclosure though, I do not make any kickback off the code. I do make a kickback though from the links in the description box because they kind of link out to like reward style. So just a heads up there. And unfortunately this sale does not apply to any of the philanthropy products. So like the blushes, the new foundation they came out with this year, sunscreen, etc., etc. But everything else, fair game. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about 10 different products that I have been absolutely, utterly obsessed with that I totally, totally, totally recommend during this sale. Shantikai, she's a pricey bitch, okay? She's a pricey lady. So if you have been interested in trying this brand and the price tag has been turning you away, I recommend trying it when it's on sale. Save some motherfucking money and always remember to shop responsibly. So with that said, let's go on a journey where we are gonna start with skincare and end with makeup. The older I get, the more I have been paying attention to my skin. And I gotta make sure I take care of good old Bessie here. She lived a hard life, she smoked a lot of cigarettes, and she was very, very stupid about not reapplying sunscreen. Hence why I have this beautiful thing over here. Love that for me. How I don't look like a catcher's mitt is a fucking mystery. Anyway, so the first thing I wanna talk about is this, which is a cleanser. This is the Rose de My Cleansing Balm. This lady will set you back 90 buckaroos. 90 buckaroos, what the fuck? I know, I know, a cleansing balm for $90, this thing better satisfy every need you have. And in a way it does. Okay, maybe it doesn't have sex with your husband, but it definitely takes care of your face. And I'm gonna say this now, I have even more expensive shit that I'm gonna talk about, so, you. I know, I know. So hold off clutching your pearls. We got other things to talk about first. I always found makeup removers to just be a bit too harsh and usually strip the shit out of my face. I wanna wash off the day's disappointment with ease. I wanna forget that someone made me attend a meeting when it really could have just been an email. You know what I mean? Anyway, this cleansing balm is incredibly lightweight. It has a light fragrance to it, which by the way, I don't have the strongest sense of smell, but it does smell very, very pleasant. And I find that this balm not only removes my makeup with ease, but it's incredibly nourishing. This cleanser leaves my skin feeling soft and supple. What I imagine my skin felt like as a child. <laughs> 
And I also love that this gives you the appearance as if you like double cleanse. As someone who suffers from dry, dry skin, I don't feel like I need to run and put moisturizer immediately on my face. In the past, anytime I used to cleanse my face, I would feel so dry and so tight and it would be so irritating that I would need to put on a hundred different salves to just calm my skin down. Not with this. It makes my skin feel incredibly smooth and comfortable. This is beyond amazing and unfortunately I'm forever spoiled by it so everything else can fuck off because this is amazing. In keeping in the skincare realm, there are two products that are within the same family and for me they have been fucking life-changing. The first one is the BioLifting Serum Plus, which is this guy right here. He's $278. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I hate me too, but this is so good. <laughs> Like I said before, my skin is very, very dry. I'm like bordering about three days away from turning into dust, you know what I mean? This product brings my skin back to life. It makes it incredibly hydrating and brighter and just feels so goddamn nourishing. This serum not only has smoothed my skin, but my student loan stress lines don't look as prominent as they used to. I'm starting to look like I have my life under control. Who is she? I don't know. <laughs> I love that I give the appearance that I have it together, meanwhile I'm melting on the inside. Aren't we all though? Now the other product from this line is the BioLifting Mask, and I really have to thank my darling baby, Scott Patrick, about this guy. He recommended it to me because he knows that my skin concerns are just like a dry, dry, dry mummy. So this product is kind of interesting because technically it's a mask, so you can just apply it to your face, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off. You can do that, it works lovely. However, for me, because I need deep, 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 deep hydration, I like to use this as a sleeping mask. This cream is incredibly lightweight and melts beautifully into the skin and remains like a really nice layer of hydration. So I spackle a layer or two on and I sleep like a vampire that night. And you know what? When I wake up in the morning, my thirst for blood is low and my skin is looking so goddamn glorious. The bio lifting line is pricey in general, but the results are just, ah, they're so good. And I notice when I don't use these products, my skin craves them. And the same goes for the next product that I'm going to talk about. This is the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Cream, and this retails for $265. Yep, you're right. I feel like there's a lot of people that think eye cream is a waste, you know, myself included, until I tried the one that was right for me. I have tried other luxury brands like Tatcha, and you know, I didn't really see any results. So I decided to take a plunge and figured, fuck it, let's try this guy out. I'm obsessed with this eye cream so much so that it's pretty much on its last legs and I plan on picking up a new one during the sale because if I get 30% off, that sounds goddamn amazing. Anyway, first of all, it comes with a gold Coke spoon, okay? Hello, amazing. It's like the 80s are brought to me, I love it. If you don't feel powerful holding this tiny, tiny spoon, your priorities are all fucked up. I am the queen of this apartment building. And that's something I say every time I hold this little spoon. Anyway, the whole application process is just so, so luxurious. You take the tiny spoon, you put a little bit of product, and you just massage it under your eye. I feel like the little gold guy definitely just brings a nice coolness. By the way, I keep all these products in the fridge, okay? I need to have all my skincare like at least fucking 30 degrees. <laughs> the better, okay? I am a vampire. I love how this feels under my eyes. It's so soothing and refreshing. And I know you're probably saying, just use your finger. Okay, listen. Okay, Julie, I know where my hands go. That's all I'm gonna say. Why would I do that when I could just use this? Now, as for the cream, it's funny because I, I literally just said this, but with the BioLifting line, I definitely feel like if I don't use this in succession, my skin cries for it. And the same goes for the eye cream. If I skip a day, bitch. <laughs> My whole under eye area is so dehydrated looking. It's dark, it's just scary. It looks like a haunted house. And the fine lines just keep creeping up and ultimately just reminding me that one day I'm gonna die in a toilet. Now, I can't say that this definitely erases my fine lines, but I find that it definitely softens them up. So again, they're just not as prominent as they once were. So when I do use this, my under eye area just feels so goddamn alive. I don't experience any dehydration. It's plump, it's beautiful, it's juicy. It's everything that I wanna be. It reminds me of when I was in my 20s. I love it. Honestly, I love all the skincare that I have tried from this brand. There's another one I actually literally just finished it, I wanna say like a week ago. There's like a, a blue light serum, that's fantastic as well. So with that said, now we're gonna kinda move on to makeup. And I think we all know here, one of the products I'm gonna be mentioning is obviously the blur powder. But before I go into that, the other thing that I have just been absolutely obsessed with, especially lately, is the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. I 
have tried so many of these kind of products, these tinted moisturizers, and I often feel really disappointed. It doesn't really do anything for me. And I really don't understand the hype of the product. Usually they just dry my skin out and it's just a fucking mess. So I was actually really prepared not to try it until the beautiful, the wonderful Michelle Wong mother. She was like, hey, you should try this dumb dumb. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. And I'm glad I fucking did. So this retails for $79. It comes in about eight different shades and it has fun things like butterfly bush extract. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it sounds magical. I imagine that's fern gully in a tube. This product definitely provides a sheer amount of coverage, but acts very much like your skin, but better. And it leaves my face feeling nice and hydrated. As if I have been drinking 10 gallons of water every day. I don't look like a sweaty beast. I look like I just have this natural glow from within. So this is like my go-to for summer. I actually think this and a little bit of concealer is definitely the perfect amount of coverage, especially if you're looking for something incredibly light that's going to be long wearing and just like last throughout the heat and the humidity. When I was in Florida, this was a fucking staple. I was afraid to bring anything that had full coverage because I sweat like nobody's business and I didn't want to look like a melted candle. But products like this, as well as their compact foundation, is just a necessity when it's so goddamn hot out. This stuff really holds up and I love it for that very reason. And I love that it feels incredibly weightless, so much so that sometimes I forgot to wash my face at the end of the night because I was like, oh, I still have makeup on? Like it just feels so natural, it's so good. The other thing I would like to note too is that if you do have any sort of like dry skin on your nose, this product doesn't emphasize any weird dry skin texture or anything like that. This is absolute perfection. The other complexion product that I wanna talk about, of course, is the, <sighs> my child. The Perfect Blurring Powder. This retails for $84 and it's worth every motherfucking penny. Nine out of 10 times in the description box of my videos, this product is listed. There's actually two things. It's usually this and it's usually the mascara. These two things are fucking life changing. But before I go into this, let me talk about this. I was so sad when I thought this was limited edition, but all it took was a couple of blood sacrifices and a bunch of crying every day to get them to make this permanent. I like to think I did it. It definitely wasn't me, but I like to think that it was. It makes me feel special when we all know that I'm not. <laughs> anyway, this powder is beyond life changing for me. This has saved so many different foundations. This weightless formula just blends and buffs into the skin and you're like, pores who? Who is she? I don't know her. There hasn't been a pore on my face since 1985. Like that's how fucking good this is. I never loved a powder product more. And I know that during this sale, I'm gonna use my code and buy a bunch of backups, even though I know that it's now permanent, which thank God it is, but still like, I need more. Currently what I think is available is their new limited edition packaging, which is the little flower one. I know not a lot of people are crazy about it because I think they preferred the hummingbird one, but rest assured that now that it's a permanent staple in the collection, it's going to come in the nice little pebble compact. And I believe it's on pre-order right now. I could be mistaken, but I think that's where it is. No matter what packaging you get, rest assured, this product is going to deliver time and time and time again. I also like that there is another option and I can only hope that they continue to expand their shade range because it is a shame that not everybody can be able to try it. Especially their powders, they're just so fuck it, they're perfect. Everyone and their mother needs to try them, okay? Just saying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my makeup mausoleum is actually going to be built out of Chantica packs. <sighs> it's gonna be cute. It's gonna definitely be a sight to see. Any hoosies. So like I mentioned before, the other product that I literally use every damn day is the Faux Sills Longest Lash Mascara. I had to say it very slowly because otherwise it would have been a little and like, <laughs> just thrown up on the table. A little bit about me. I don't like false lashes. I think they're stupid. It's fine if you like them. It's just I don't and I fuck with them. So I need something that is volumizing and something that will not clump my lashes together where I look like the Cynthia doll from the Rugrats, okay? No, we don't have time for that. This mascara is amazing and I hate that this is $73 and worth every penny. Yeah, I said what I said. I have a few favorite mascaras that I will sometimes like rotate through because I feel bad. <laughs> but this is the one that I keep coming back to. I have found that this formula has definitely helped me grow my lashes. It has increased thickness and fullness over time. Did not happen overnight, but I've definitely noticed that within the last like six months, my lashes look so much better. I really love the thickness of my eyelashes now. I also love that this mascara is not the kind of mascara that just turns your lashes into daggers and it's just so goddamn hard and pointy and you're just afraid that they're gonna break. You will not experience that with this. This is just so damn comfortable and I love that it doesn't flake or break and my lashes don't fall. Because that's the other thing about volumizing mascara. Biggest claim is that, oh, we're volumizing and then usually that's not the fucking case at all. And halfway throughout the day, my eyelashes just fall, 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 fall and they start touching my goddamn glasses. Not this though. 
She's a winner. The longevity on this product is fucking amazing. I cannot stress enough how this definitely lifts and separates and it's just been a game changer for me. And again, something that I just list time and time again. So if you can try it while it's on sale, I invite you to do so. Especially if you're someone that doesn't like false lashes. This is definitely the hardest working mascara and the bitch needs a raise. Now the next product I want to talk about are the cheek gelays, which are these little guys right here. These retail for $45 and they come in three different shades. And today I actually have the shade Lively On. Hmm, I feel so demure. When I was in Florida, I wanted to bring products that were just one, easy to use, two, took little to no time at all to apply it, and three, have me look like a fresh face cutie. This is all that and more. I find that some liquid blushes can definitely disturb the products that you have underneath. So even before you set it down with powder, it can take up the foundation. And I hate that about liquid blushes, but this product does not do that. Whether it's over powder or under powder, you're gonna get the same result. This product melts beautifully into the skin. This formula is buildable and she's pigmented. So I would recommend kind of going in with a lighter hand, but rest assured, if you do use a little too much, you can blend it out. I have been obsessed with cream blushes this year. And I would say that this particular formula is probably within the top five regarding how easy it is to use and the incredible longevity you're going to have with the product. I also love that it doesn't create any sort of like weird texture and I love that this product just dries down nicely so you're not going to experience any weird tackiness or transfer issues. Everything locks into place. These are fucking amazing. Now the next thing I want to talk about is their highlighter and I'm probably going to butcher this so I think it's called Les Palettes. Computer? Les Palettes. Thank you. So this retails for $79. <sighs> I know, and I'm beyond obsessed with it. Now, Chantecaille actually has a liquid highlighter and honestly, it's not my favorite. But the powder one, oh bitch, this one's fucking great. What I like about it is that it's kind of the best of both worlds. You have a gold side and you have a pink pearl side. And when combined together, it's absolutely breathtaking. And the pan embossing is king. This highlighter is incredibly demure when first applied. And if you're someone that likes a little bit of highlight, that doesn't emphasize any texture or have any glitter in it, this is a great buy. It makes you feel like a fancy, fancy bitch. And this is actually one of the products that I picked up during the last sale. But that said, y'all know me. You know what I like do for a little bit. God, I can't, I can't stop being quaint. Okay, hold on. But y'all know me. You know that I like being an alien slut. And I love that this is a buildable formula that doesn't emphasize any sort of weird texture and that it melts into the skin so beautifully. And I'm able to build it up to kind of get to more of like a, a slutty opacity. I'm honestly really, really mad that I wasn't able to get the new highlighter. My sausage little fingers was not fast enough for that one because if it's anything like this, I'm gonna love it. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about some brilliant glosses. Each gloss retails for $38 and they have become one of my favorite lip products. I love the lip cheeks, the lip veils, the, I think it's like Le Matte Stylo pencil things, fabulous. All of them have been fabulous. And while those products are incredibly comfortable and hydrating on the lips, I always look for a little bit more hydration. Maybe not the lip chic ones because it's kind of like a combination of gloss, but definitely the matte stylos. I usually like to pair it with the gloss just to give me a little bit more hydration. And then I discovered the brilliant glosses. Bitch. There's something about these glosses that are absolute perfection. They're not sticky, they're hydrating, shiny, and incredibly comfortable to wear. You will not experience any weird like joker mouth <laughs> or having the product like creep into the outer corners. You won't experience that with this product. This is not sticky. I feel like I have to stress that. This gloss is not sticky. Nothing pisses me off more than having a gloss that literally just is so sticky and messy and gets everywhere. And then as soon as your hair fucking flies into it, it's just like you're dead. No. <laughs> You will not experience that with this gloss. This product is probably one of my favorite glosses that I've ever tried. And I actually look forward to picking up more colors during the sale because I just love how comfortable and subtle and just beautiful. Like they just feel so damn good. And I love the longevity of them. I don't feel like I need to keep reapplying. The wear down is so comfortable. It's almost like a satin sheen. I cannot recommend the glosses enough. With that said, those are some of my favorite products that I think are worth looking at during the sale. Now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below what you plan on picking up. And if you have have any fun recommendations for me. I would love to hear from you. Again, this sale is going to be from July 24th to July 27th. If you use the code <laughs> Teresa30, you will save 30% off your order. Rest assured though, if you miss this pre-sale, the regular sale will happen July 28th to July 31st. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really filthy, really trashy, but high-end 
garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. And um, I just love you. I love you all. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything is pretty much Chantecaille, with the exception of the lip liner. I have a, a different lip liner on, but everything else is Chantecaille. Oh, and my brows. That is not Chantecaille. Everything else is Chantecaille. <laughs> I'll make sure to leave everything in the description box along with some of my recommendations and more information about the sale. So I'll see you little cupcakes later. Bye.